All right, here we go. We are ready to play two minute drill uh, for this hour of the 24 hour game show marathon. Thank you guys for tuning in, supporting us, donating. Uh, right now we stand at $5,678.90. Thank you guys for Yay! all of your donations. But like uh, Christian said, we are still collecting. We're keeping the ball rolling, so keep those donations coming in. Uh, and we're going to see how much we raise uh, throughout this 24-hour game show marathon. Uh, we are playing two-minute drill in this hour, the ultimate game of trivia. Uh, American version of uh, Mastermind, if you will. I, I do like that. I think that, that's yeah. an accurate uh, sentiment for this game show. Uh, before we dive in, uh, the sponsor of this hour of the 24-hour game show marathon is Inkling Trivia. The Inkling is a biannual male-based trivia competition for the most serious of trivia buffs. Competitors will receive a packet of 140 printed questions. Each participant or two-person team will then have about three weeks to fill out the provided answer sheets and return them by real old-fashioned mail. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Uh, if you're interested, sign up for the next round at inklingtrivia.com. So thank you guys at Inkling Trivia for sponsoring this hour of the 24-hour game show marathon. Uh, all right, so uh, how about first we uh, introduce our readers. So this is a unique game show. We have dedicated readers that are going to read the questions. We got Corey, Bob, Sheldon, and Chris, of course. Uh, they are going to be reading. <laughs> there you go, yep. They're going to be reading the Chris. questions. Riss. <laughs> From here, it just looks like Riss. <laughs> there you go. You got Chris. There you, there you go. go. Everybody's represented. Oh, yeah. I can move mine down. Ooh. Ooh. Um, there you go. Hey. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> hey. While, while I got you guys here, should I just introduce you to the topics that you guys are going to be reading yeah. while we're at it? Um, sure. Corey, I have you down as the original category because this is a sports, this used to be a sports-based game show, so you will be in charge of the sports questions. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's appropriate for you, big, yeah, big I like, sports guy. People don't seem to think that I like sports, but I like sports a lot. The only video game I play is ESPN NFL 2K5. That's, that's it, so, <laughs> it's so good. That's funny. So that's still being updated regularly, right? Yeah, I cannot get Jalen Hurts to throw fewer than three interceptions a game. <laughs> <laughs> However, we did beat the Cowboys 99 to nothing. Yes, Yay! that's what I want to hear. I want to hear that all the time. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stand. Sorry, Cowboys. Nah, uh -uh, sorry. Give us money anyway. Yeah, still give us money. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But eh, come on, go Eagles. Hey, yeah, go Birds. Um, next, uh, Bob. Uh, your uh, category is pour up drinks. Are you a big drinker? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did you get this category? I, it just looked. Good. <laughs> Rich Liebig, the king oh. of the segue. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I mean, I'm just wondering. I mean, no, nothing wrong I mean, with it. I, I, you have a drink question. Are you an alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. Just, you, you, like, you, you like that, just the category? or? I mean, I, I drink the occasional cider, but other than that, it's... You're with me. You're, you're, you're a sweet guy, aren't you? You like sweet stuff. I do. You're, you're a sweet with guy. Me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're the sweet guys. Aww. Just like people with a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So no, I I, I feel you. I I'm, I'm not too crazy into beer, but like I I mm -hmm. definitely if there's I'm like cocktails, I'm too yeah, too old for that stuff. Yeah. Oh, and that's I mean yeah. you know that happens too. So all right, uh, Bob will be reading the ones uh, for pour up drinks. That's your category. Uh, Sheldon, you've got the category for newsmakers. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, that's all, pretty... All history, all pop culture, anything that pretty made, standard a, fare. made a newspaper at some point in time, that's what I got here. Yep, pretty standard fare it's there. All stories about high and lowest. Yes. <laughs> uh, and Chris, you've got arts and sciences. Yes, I do. I look forward to wailing on all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just heard the donation bell ring, so thank you guys for donating on that. Uh, we're now at $5,697.46. That's Dang. Uh, Yeah. I mean, that, look, we'll take any money. That's an interesting uh, 46 cents. I don't know what the significance of that is, but go ahead. You know, why not? <laughs> why not? 
All right, so those are our readers. They are going to be in charge of reading the, the tough questions that will pre be presented to our contestants. Uh, and uh, let's meet our contestants. How about that? Yes. We should do yeah. that. Uh, our first contestant. How about, uh, what, Andrew? You want to go first? <laughs> All right, Andrew, come on up. Why not? Right. right. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. All right. All right. Get in the old chair here. So, uh, do you know how the game works by any chance? Uh, sort of, but remind me, Rich, and remind the folks at home. Okay, that's probably probably fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, and hurry up. <laughs> as, as, Stretch. <laughs> okay, so so we got the four categories listed: Corey for the sports category, Bob for pour up drinks, uh, Sheldon newsmakers, and uh, Chris for arts and sciences. Uh, each one of them has four questions that they can read to you during the two minutes that we're going to run on the clock for you. Uh, so if you feel strongly in one category, choose the one that you think you can definitely answer the most donation of. Um, oh, thank yeah, you! Thank yes, you. thank you for the donation. Um, you will have two minutes or less to try and answer uh, these six, basically 16 questions spread across these four guys. If you do get all four questions right from one guy, that is a bonus point. So that is something you should keep in mind that uh, if you're on a roll with somebody, you might want to keep, just stay with them and see if you can get that bonus point. Um, it is two minutes or less. So if you do know the answer to the, to the question, say it immediately so that we can, you know, you want to get all those questions you can in those two minutes. Um, I Show will tell you. Question. Actually, questions need to be read in full. You cannot interrupt. Cannot interrupt. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. I, okay. Did it, I yeah. watch the wrong two minute drill? I guess I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh gotcha. I watched gotcha. the wrong <laughs> season. <then. laughs> That's okay. okay. All right, we'll then never mind it. that. Make sure you, you listen to the let whole him, question. Let him finish. Got it. So you watched the season where you could interrupt? Yeah. Oh, I, cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I never died. Sorry. All right. No. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the, the one that was available on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> The creator just shot himself. <laughs> <laughs> very well. So, all right. Very well. It's very well. Very well. <laughs> okay. to. Period. Moving on. <laughs> yes. So, listen to the whole question. Got it. Answer correctly. <laughs> Earn points. Uh, four of them correct. You get a bonus point for if, it, cool. if they're from the specific person themselves. Got it. All right. Uh, all right. So, without further ado, we have the, the we got the overlay going. You have two minutes there. Each one of those clocks is a minute, so that'll okay. give you an idea of how That's much time you have Thank left you. there. All right. All right. So, uh, I don't know what else to say. This is, the, <laughs> this is it's time to get ready for your two minutes. Uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I do know this part. Your two minute drill starts now. Bob. Three green claw marks are the logo for what energy drink brand? Monster. Correct. Bob. Along with lime, what is traditionally used to line the rim of a margarita glass? Salt. Correct. Bob. Outside of North America, cloudy apple juice is the name used to refer to which non-alcoholic beverage? Uh, apple cider. Correct. Bob. What adjective follows whiskey to name a cocktail that includes rye, simple syrup, and lemon juice? Sour. Correct. Chris. School science fairs often include volcanoes made with which technique which uses paper and some adhesive? Uh, paper mache. Correct. Trips. Galvanism plays a major part in which early 19th century horror novel by Mary Shelley? Frankenstein. Correct. Chris. What metamorphic rock is Michelangelo's David sculpted from? Marble. Correct. Chris. What surrealist represents time and space relativity with his work The Persistence of Memory? Dolly. Correct. Sheldon. The most watched television event in the U.S. was the landing of the Apollo 11 on what celestial the body? Moon. Correct. Sheldon. Widely regarded as the first affordable family automobile, what Ford car was nicknamed Tin Lizzie? Model T. Correct. Sheldon. June 1st, 1980 saw the launch of CNN, 24-hour 24, uh, 24 cable news conceived by what mouth of the South? Ted Turner. Correct. Sheldon. Kim Kardashian's 2014 break the internet photo shoot, which started many a headline, was for which magazine? Vogue. Now, paper. Corey. Which current colorful AFC North team beat the New York Jets in the first ever Monday Night Football game on September 21st, 1970? Oh, uh... I don't know, pass. Cleveland Browns. Corey. Bo Jackson was a rare dual sport professional athlete for part of his career. Name either team he played for while in both the MLB and the NFL. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the Orioles. No, Royals or Raiders. Corey. Which iconic MLB stadium features a prominent left field wall known as the Green Monster? Fenway Park. Correct. Corey. Lynette Woodward was the first woman to play for what world-renowned exhibition basketball team? The Harlem Globetrotters. Correct. Corey. Uh, that's, that's all time. of them. Wow.
There's no way to fast forward that clock. Wow. Uh, also, during that, there was a donation. Thank you for donating. Thank you. Um, wow, you completely got uh, pour up drinks for Bob, so you, that's a five there. And uh, Chris for arts and sciences got all of them correct. So uh, that is 10, 13. I believe uh, that's a score of 15 if I got all my math correctly. Because, oh, you were so close on Sheldon, too. You almost got the bonus on that. That was, uh, the magazine was paper. Paper. Okay. Yep. That, but that was the only one you got yeah. wrong there. And the only one that you got wrong on the sports was uh, uh, the first two, Browns and Royals and Raiders. That's a very impressive score, my friend. Thank you. Very impressive. <laughs> wow. That's... That's almost like I don't even have to have a job. I can just, just keep saying correct, correct, right. correct. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are putting me out of a job. It's not good. All right. Uh, thank you for uh, round one. Uh, let's get your uh, competitor up, uh, right. Jamal. Come on in. Hi, how are Hi. you doing? Good. Yeah. Uh, all right. You got a little bit of work to do. Uh, but you definitely can make it happen. Once again, uh, Corey is sports, Bob is pour up drinks, Sheldon is newsmakers, and uh, Chris is arts and sciences. All right, are you, uh, are, you, are you prepared for your two minutes? Yes. Okay, you guys ready over there? Yep. All right, then your two minute drill starts now. Chris. A 2013 film starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney shares its name with what physical force? Gravity. Correct. What material are you working with if you are in a hot shop using a blowpipe? Glass. Correct. Chris. What architectural style is shared by the Chrysler and Empire State Buildings? Perfect. Correct. Chris. The traveling art exhibit Body Worlds displays preserved human bodies lacking what organ? Skin. Correct. Sheldon. What Sesame Street character had the hottest selling toy in 1996 with their Tickle Me doll? Elmo. Correct. Sheldon. Uh, Prince Philip, Betty White, and Bob Barker all passed away right before reaching what landmark age? Correct. Written as a serial in an abolitionist newspaper before being novelized, Uncle Tom's Cabin was a work by whom? Harry Dieter Stone. Correct. Once, once a drive-in car hop restaurant, what modern fast food chain was started by brothers Maurice and Richard in 1940? McDonald's. Correct. Sheldon. Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate sta uh, states you can make it with either milk or what inferior option? Water. Correct. The tea variety chai derives its name from the Hindi for what? Tea. Correct. Also called cocktail cherries, which cherries preserved in syrup are often used as mixed drink garnishes? Correct. Bob. Despite protests from James Bond, a proper martini should be mixed with what method? Uh, stirred. Correct. He's done. Great. Which seven foot one inch NBA center has starred as Neon Bordeaux opposite Nick Nolte in the 1994 movie Blue Chips? A shot. Correct. Correct. What nautical apparatus is graphically represented in the logo of the Seattle Mariners baseball team? Oh. Correct. Correct. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, behind quarterback Kurt Warner, which NFL team's offense was deemed the greatest show on turf? Uh, Packers. No, St. Louis Rams. Correct. The 1919 pandemic of what disease forced the cancellation of the Stanley Cup Finals with no winner being deemed as a result? Uh, smallpox. No, Spanish flu. And that's the end. That's all 16 questions. Wow. wow. Um, that is three complete categories I have. You got everything right in arts and sciences, everything right in newsmakers, and everything un, uh, right under pour up drinks. Uh, you got two right in the sports category. Uh, greatest show on turf is St. Louis Rams, uh, and the 1919 pandemic disease was the Spanish flu. Wow. Uh, so that is five, 10, 15, 16, 17 points if I Woo. did my math correctly. Woo. You guys are on fire. Okay. So with that, we move on to uh, the second round of this playthrough. Um, I guess uh, we should, uh, let's, put, let's bring back uh, Andrew. Yay. I feel legitimately like intimidated. Like you guys are super smart. <laughs> Appreciate you guys, that, thank you. You guys are really on the ball with this stuff. Um, Okay, so this one is more just uh, general questions. Okay. Right? This is more kind of general, general knowledge, if you will. Okay. Um, okay, uh, so it is 1715 if I got the score or? correctly, nope. right? Nope. Okay. Well, you just get them dealt to you. Cool. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, so yeah, these are just more general questions. And again, you will have two minutes on the clock to answer as many as you can correctly. Uh, we have. 
another 16 questions. Okay. 20. Um, 20. 20. 20. Oh, 20? One. Yeah. Why are you out of time? Oh, they're five. I can count. Four <laughs> times five is 20, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's 20. Thank you. Yay. Yay. We'll get through. We're going to get through this marathon. It's going to be great. I just need to just hunker down on my, on my math skills. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's the one thing that's going to make this really go over the top. Right. <laughs> <laughs> can rich math. Yes. All right, so you have 20 right. questions to answer in two minutes or less. Okay. No Are you so ready fast. to go? I'm ready. All right, okay, then your two-minute drill starts now. What vacuum brand and presidential last name is synonymous with vacuums in the UK? Hoover. Correct. What was the original flavor of cream found in Twinkies? Banana. Correct. What planet is the second from the sun in our solar system? Venus. Correct. Atlanta was an FX show created and produced by Donald Glover, who raps under what name? Childish Gambino. Correct. In the NBC game show One Versus 100, the player was often asked if they wanted the money or what group? The mob. Correct. What four-letter clarified butter is commonly used in Indian cuisine? Ghee. Correct. According to Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life, what happens every time a bell rings? An angel gets its wings. Correct. What Canadian company is North America's oldest brewery? Molson. Correct. What TV persona made Cassandra Peterson a star? Uh, Elvira. Correct. What's the dominant fruit flavoring in Southern Comfort? Peach. No, apricot. On what PBS TV show did the Bloodhound Gang solve mysteries? Uh, Wishbone? No, 321 Contact. What magazine give out, gives out the Golden Calipers to its Car of the Year winner? Uh, Motor Trend. Correct. What is the capital city of Canada? Ottawa. Correct. Rigged. What song about a glass of wine is Don Ho's signature tune? Oh, 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 um, pass. Tiny bubbles. Yeah. What's the only land mammal taller than the elephant? A giraffe. Correct. The pinna is the outside is the outer visible part of what? The sun? No, a year. Oh. Which Flintstones character apparently possessed superhuman strength as a toddler but never as an adult? Bam bam. Correct. What philosophical belief from the Latin for only the self holds that the external world doesn't exist at all? Nihilism? Solipsism. A bronze statue of what stands at the foot of the steps to the Philadelphia Art Museum? Rocky. Correct. What good little witch is Casper the Friendly Ghost's friend? Wendy. Correct. And there you go. You got 20 questions in there. Woo! If I missed the Ottawa question, I'd have had to renounce my citizenship. So. <laughs> uh, I believe that that's... Gift. Seeks asylum. I believe that's 15 points in the second round for you. Um, okay. So that is 30, if I got my math correct. Yeah, 30. Yeah. Yay! Hey! All right. You took that pretty well. This, uh, this All right. right. That's still, that's an impressive score. That's amazing. I, Appreciate it. I, I, I am... Yeah. Slow it down. I, yeah. I am in awe. Like, you, you, you are very good with your trivia, good sir. Thank you. We're going to see if 30 is enough for you to hold on to the lead. And I see don't if you know. Can Jamal's win. playing really well. Yep. Come on in. All right, let's get Jamal back. All right, so uh, you had 17 points in that first round. Uh, Andrew is up to 30 now. Let's see what you can do to catch up some ground on him in the second round here. All right, are you ready, Jamal? Yes. All right, then without further ado, uh, readers, are you guys ready? Yes. Yay. All right, then without further ado, your two-minute drill starts now. Roulette takes its name from the French for little what? Wheel. Correct. What part of a record player might a DJ use when scratching or scrubbing the track? Turntable. Correct. A pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit was the first item to include what identifying technology? Barcode. UPC. Correct. Barcode, yep. Prime Energy and its variants were created by two YouTubers, KSI and whom? Logan Paul. Correct. What brand of video game consoles is created by Microsoft? Uh, the Xbox. Correct. What is Charlie's last name in Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Bucket. Correct. In what city was Cassius Claiborne in 1942? St. Louis. No, Louisville. In the Bible, whose daughter-in-law, Oprah, is the source of Oprah Winfrey's misspelled name? Ruth. Correct. What song is playing during Tom Cruise's iconic underwear dance in Risky Business? Old Time Rock and Roll. Correct. The fruit of the rose plant shares its name with what part of the body? Hip. Correct. What mathematical term is represented by E in the acronym PEMDAS? Exponentiation. Exponent, yep, correct. 
Set it and forget it was the slogan for what kind of item sold by Ronco as seen on TV? Stove. A toaster oven. No, uh, rotisserie ovens, no. What legal professional witnesses signatures and affidavits but does not practice law? Uh, notary. Correct. How many stars can be found on the flag of China? One. No, five. The, f come on. The Haudenosaunee <laughs> Confederacy is also known by what name? Sorry. Oh. Uh, Iroquois. What two words appear in the original recording of Candle in the Wind, where England's rose appear in the 1997 version? Uh, Princess Diana? No, Norma Jean. In Tommy Two-Tone's song, who can be called at 867-5309? Jenny. Correct. What fast food chain introduced the blizzard in 1985? Debra Queen. Correct. And we're up there. Oh! oh. Ooh. That was... Hadenoshani? Hadenoshani. That's Hagen Das. Hagen. Oh, Hagen Das. So Hadenoshani. I did it phonetically. Yes. Oh no, I saw it phonetically. Hadenoshani. Ho. That's Ho. Yeah. The guy who wrote that just killed himself too. All right, so if I did my math correctly, so OH is the. That was thirteen points for you in round two. But the O is the O. I think we have a tie at 30 then. Yeah. Wow. What do we do here? After two <laughs> rounds, we didn't we think anyone would have a tie. We didn't think we could dead do that. tie. Both contestants stamps. with 30 points. Should we use so, uh, leg wrestling. <laughs> Who, should, we do the, should we do the mastermind tiebreaker? Mm. Five yeah. questions, same question. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. can do that. Let's do it. Agro Pred. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, so who got, who got more? Who got more wrong? Oh wait, we have we have spares. Oh, we do. Hmm. Oh. Do we want to do that or ask both of them the, their their questions of great significance? We like because because these are these are really. Let's you know do what? that. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Whoever actually gets it right is the real winner. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 like, so you both answer the question of great significance, and who, if one of you gets it right, then you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Good job. Yeah. Because <laughs> these are some really. This is a. This is a. You know, some very difficult questions here. Um, all right. So all right, should we alternate or do? Should we stay there? I don't know. Do you want to? You want to? I say. I, I say. Uh, Jamal's there. So yeah. Okay. yeah. He's all on right. His own, yeah. All right. Then ha that's that's how we'll do this. Perfect. All right. Uh, are these like your? This is your speciality. Yeah. The the they might be giant. You yes. Like that, that band. Ooh. Yes, I do. Ooh. Cool. What what? I'm uh, listening now. What makes them? Like, is, it, is it like your favorite band? Is that like the yeah. one you can listen to on a loop? It's, it's my favorite band. I've probably seen them the most times. I've been like a fan since probably I was like 14. And so I just, I know a lot about them. Wow. How many times have you seen them? Uh, at least 20 times. I, wow. I would have to look at a list of, a list of things because basically just growing up in New York, they, they played in New York all the time. I would see them a right. bunch. Wow. Yeah. So, all right, there you go. Your number one uh, band, They Might Be Giants, a very popular band as well. I mean, yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people that enjoy their music as well. Um, but you indicated that that is going to be your speciality. So yes. we've whipped up the question of great significance to be. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, there you go. We can just do that. There you right. go. <laughs> Coming up with a better viewing angle there. Uh. OK. So yeah, once again, I just want to say again, <laughs> by the way, Jamal and Andrew, fantastic performance. Like, just, you guys astound me with your trivia knowledge. Thank you. Just great performance by both of you guys. Okay, so we will do both uh, questions of great significance. Uh, Jamal, mm -hmm. here is your question for They Might Be Giants. It's a little bit long, so bear with me. When it comes to They Might Be Giants, John Flansburg and John Linnell have brought some iconic tracks to life through, throughout their four-decade history. Whether it be Anna and G. Anna Ng. Anna Ng, okay. Uh, Particle Man or Boss of Me, they have delighted audiences around the world. But let's not be nostalgic. In 2021, the Johns released Book, a 144 page art book, including photos and lyrics from multiple albums and a 15 track record. For the win, well, I mean, we'll, we'll, go, we'll figure it out. To brag. Name three of the tracks 
on their Grammy nominated album book. Oh. Yep, this is, this is why this is the well, very yeah, last question and the question of great significance. I have two copies of this. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, don't know. Do you have any guesses? A uh, book, like, if you could ask me anything, I will like say like one of like they, uh, the uh, the number four Dallas song is seven one eight three eight seven six nine six two. The band was like formed in I think nineteen eighty two. Uh, but yeah, I don't know anything about book. I have two copies of it. Never listened to it. Love the old stuff. Uh, so this question was specifically meant to be against you. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, all right, so you're not even can't wager a guess. Nothing. Uh, I, I can guess. Uh, let's. I, I know. Like, hmm. Any chance oh. you could remember a recent single? Uh, recent single. Uh, Communist. Communist have the music. Mm, I do not see it listed here. Uh, no. No. Okay. Uh, the track listing was synops Synopsis for Latecomers, Moonbeam Rays, I Broke My Own Rule, Brontosaurus, Lord Snowden, oh, yeah, if, if Day for Winnipeg, uh, I Can't Remember the Dream, Drown the Clown, Darling the Dose, I Lost Thursday, Part of Me Wants to Believe You, Super Cool, Wait Actually Yeah No, Wait Actually Yeah No, Quit the Circus, and Less Than One. So. Wow. Sounds like an unalive note. <laughs> 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 yeah, sounds unalive. But look, Jamal. Still, the, those two rounds you did phenomenal in. That was a great job answering those questions. So I still tip my hat to Thank you, good you, sir. All right. No shame, only points, right? Good Andrew? <laughs> it still could be hard. I mean, these are difficult questions get, when you get to the end of two minute drill. Oh, so boy. It's not over. You're not kidding. Yeah. Um, you do have listed, though, that your speciality is defunct Canadian food and drink brands. Yes. Do you yep. really enjoy those <laughs> defunct Canadian food and drink brands? You know, I had to come up with a third topic, and that seemed... I'm pretty good on food and drink, and I know my Canadian history. I should hope so. <laughs> so, I will see what Sheldon has cooked up. Okay. All right. So with that being said, again, a little bit of a longer question, so mm -hmm. please bear with me. Okay. Here is your question of great significance. I shall do my best. Fruit juice-based beverages have had a bad history in Canada. Clearly, Canadian gave the world orbits, the lava lamp juice with confusing flavors and flavorless, colorful, colorful balls. Orbits met its end a year after its creation. Lasting quite a bit longer, Farmer's Dairy provided the cult classic Beep, which managed to be discontinued twice, first in 2010, then later in 2015. Beep was an interesting concoction made primarily of five different fruit juices, though the combination was different between the original and Beep for breakfast. For the win, name any of the fruit juices that could be found in both Beep varieties. That's beep, B-E-E-P. B-E-E-P, like a, like a computer beep. Mm -hmm. Beep. Mm -hmm. Or your voicemail, beep. Mm -hmm. Or a robot goes, beep, beep. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say this is a total wild ass guess, so. Hats off to Sheldon. You 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 did good, my friend. <laughs> um, what would be both? I'm gonna go with. Orange. Orange. Yeah. That is one of the fruit juices. Hey! You are the winner Wild of Two Minute Drill. 
Andrew, congratulations. You get to hold the trophy hey. for this hour. Woo. Andrew, a phenomenal job. Thank you. you Thanks, man. Impressive trivia knowledge. Appreciate it. Fan I, look, that, that is not hard. Any, anything like this where it's like mastermind or, oh, or something like this where you're just, it's like solo on you mm -hmm. to finish the trivia, that's, it's very difficult to do. Very much And so. you just soared above with flying colors. Congratulations, Andrew. And hats off to knowledge. Jamal, too. He played Yes, great. and Jamal did a great job as well. All right, that wraps it up for, uh, okay, we're gonna do, actually, yeah, we, have, we got a little bit of time, so why not? Let's fit in a game of high rollers. Yeah, we can do that. We got some time. So we're gonna go to break. We'll go to break, set up high rollers, and we'll be right back at you. Don't go anywhere, this is a 24-hour game show marathon. We'll be right back. <laughs>